Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to open a couple of Black Widow egg sacs. Now there's a few reasons why you may want to do this, and we'll talk about them throughout this video. First and foremost would be to figure out if these egg sacs are fertilized, if they're viable or not. We already know that a Black Widow can mate one time and then hold that spider sperm inside of her through the duration of her life. Now that should answer the question about uh, how are there still male black widows around if they get eaten every time they mate. They only need to mate once, and that female black widow, I mean, she is set for life. I'm not sure if this holds true with black widows, but I know it does hold true with praying mantises. A praying mantis might lay an egg case without have ever having made it. And really, unless you dissect the egg case, the only way you're going to know if that is a viable egg case is if something hatches from it. So I'm assuming here the same is possibly true for black widows. For all we know, these eggs would never even hatch and turn into a black widow. And I'd be good with that, all right? I'm doing this outside for obvious reasons, but it's really bright outside here, so I'm going to keep messing with the camera till I get a good angle. I, I can't even see in the view screen of the camera. Or I got a shade. It's just really horrible. Okay, can you see this? It's a bunch of teeny, teeny, tiny little eggs. Like little bitty BBs or ball bearings. Kind of looks like miniature tapioca balls. wonder if we could use... No, don't even... We're not even going to go that direction, okay? Now, because we can see these tiny eggs in here, I'm just going to assume this is a viable egg sac. But I, I really don't know enough to know if that is a correct assumption at this point. As a general rule of thumb with Black Widows, the darker the egg sac, the closer it is to hatching time. Now let's cut open the second egg sac. Holy crack a -moly. Oh, look at these things there. All right, so you know we are going to have to now implement protocol zero. You guys all know what that means, right? Here, hand me the propane torch. We got to take care of this. They're getting everywhere. What do you mean? This There's no striker on it. Well, you use a lot. You don't. Come on. They Look at them. They're, they're going. Look at these. I'm holding you responsible for that. Just, okay, all right. No, okay, okay hang on. We got, just, just let me go get a lighter. All right, light it up. Protocol Zero implementation. That popping sound, I'm thinking are the eggs. Oh, it could be the spider babies. 
It's now a problem. The propane torch is so, it's got such a powerful draft coming off it, it's also blowing some of these spider babies off the plate. All right, we have to squish some of these by hand. Okay. All right, so maybe this wasn't the best thought out plan that we have done here. Number one, I didn't even know if these were viable fertilized egg sacs. And really, I was kind of under the assumption that if the, the spider babies, spiderlings, if the spider babies were ready to come crawling out, that the egg sac would have moved when you touched it. So I was thinking, did not expect this to, oh, God, it's itch all over. I'm pretty sure none got on me, but, oh. No, they, no, hang on. No, they are not cute little fellers. But just, just stay over there. Let me just do this. Let me finish this video. This is the thing of nightmares. I know this is going to be, I'm going to be streaming about this one tonight. Yeah, good job. So what did we learn? Number one, we learned that black widows are creepy spiders. But really, oh. And no, we did not learn that the sp black widow spider babies are cute. Just let me make the video. We learned that when you grab a propane torch off the shelf, make sure it's the type that has the built-in striker. You know, you push the button and it sparks and it lights the, the propane. And then I had to run around from the backyard up to the front porch to where the barbecue is and grab the barbecue lighter and come running back here so we could light this thing. And, oh, yeah, that was, that was not a good feeling. Spider babies pouring out everywhere, and we just ran. I don't even know what the neighbors are thinking. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what the neighbors are thinking. We also learned that a glass plate or a ceramic plate may not be the proper platform for opening up a spider egg sac. Because, as I said, when we hit them with a torch, it just blew some spider eggs and stuff around. And once again, I hope you have learned something that, that we have proven the fact that it does not take but one black widow or even a single egg sac to infest a whole house or a building or a garage or a shop. Look at how many spider babies came out of that one egg sac. And if even if half of them get eaten by each other or do not make it, half a hundred, it's 50. 50 black widow spiders. Now, don't say spiders are good, they take care of bugs and flies. Yeah, yeah, spiders do. But you don't need a dangerous or deadly spider to do that task in your home. There are plenty of benign spiders around here. You have the giant house spider. Very big, very fast, and very scary, but relatively harmless. And then you have the false widow. And if you're not sure about what a false widow looks like, look it up on Wikipedia. They don't look... You're not going to mistake it for a black widow if you know what you're talking about. I get those, eh, that's not a real black widow. That's a f no. But more importantly for the context here is, and I have a video where I've shown this, the false widow egg sac looks completely different than this. You're not going to mistake a black widow and a false widow's egg sac. There's not a chance in the world you will when you see them. All right, so very educational video today. And at least one thing I did do right, because, you know, we talk about what we've learned what we could do better and then what we did do right when this happened i didn't scream like a little girl and i know a lot of you thought i would I'm not saying every time i'm feeling it just feels like little things are touching my body they're not i can see there's there's no oh it just feels ugh. well i'm not gonna do protocol zero on, on my clothes and everything but i've got to get everything into the washing machine put a little extra bleach in there kill anything that might be on me and i gotta jump in the shower all right we gotta jump in the shower it's shower time because after you've been showered with baby black widow spiders, it's time to jump in the real shower. All right, so not my finest hour, but not my worst one either. We did learn something today, and we learned how horrible black widow spiders are. We learned that one teeny tiny little egg sac can just be an open up into a nightmare, and we have experienced this in real life. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. And yeah, I feel a heart fluttering right now. All right, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.